um, some some online media channels have also in the past um, um, contacted wanted to contact the grassroots partners interview them uh, and we make that link possible um, in terms of um, when we launched in Kenya in 2009 how we launched was also with a with a focus with a clear focus on partner organizations we we created a launch event around two partner organizations one is um, um, the Kenyatta Hospital and uh, the Nagara Girls High School. Now, in the school, there was, uh, there is this incredibly innovative um, uh, workshop or club. It's called the Scar Club, where um, the girls uh, from that school um, work with uh, w with a mentor, and um, they talk about their they talk about their rights in terms of sexual rights um, as well as um, how to prevent abuse in the context of Kenya where sexual abuse is extremely rampant um, it's proven to be extremely useful um, we also created a launch event around the Kenyatta hospital where the gender minister um, and the uh, executive director Ines Alberti of UNIFEM visited the hospital sat down with the survivors of violence who are treated in that hospital, um, talked to them, talked about their needs uh, directly to them, and um, discussed uh, what are the next steps and so on and so forth. And all of that is again um, on media, on print media as well as online media, um, and it goes on to really uh, spotlight the work of the partners and also spotlight the issue to governments. It seems as though a lot of organizations are going back to grassroots strategies. Is this true? If so, why? I'm not sure what you mean by grassroots strategies. Um, there are lots of grassroots partners on Seno, as I said. And I think the nature of advocacy itself, advocacy on ending violence against women, has been very much grassroots driven. There has always been in the entire history of women's movement, there's been incredible work and incredible progress achieved through the women's movement. And many of these had started as grassroots initiatives. And when it comes to violence against women, we are talking about changing attitudes, changing practices, changing cultural um, uh, or breaking cultural myths. Um, we are talking about laws and policy but we're also talking about on that individual level that change needs to happen. And when it comes down to that, along with the international policy work, along with the government's um, political will and policies and programs in place, you also need advocacy um, and awareness raising. And that often happens at that local, national, community level. So I think grassroots initiatives are incredibly powerful. Um, and that connection with that individual from, from, from a local organization's perspective who really have the pulse of their community, um, who know the pulse of their community, their work is absolutely um, indispensable in, a con in this context. Uh, I have another question. Shermini asks, do you think the one reason Seno is hitting this many responses is also because you have a big name behind your campaign? This is something some NGOs may not have as an advantage. I wouldn't, um, of course Seno has a branding behind it. Um, it has the Unifem name behind it. But if you looked at the Seno website and the campaign, it's really your campaign. And the reason I tell I am saying this is if you look at it, the, the website or any of the products that come with it, tools that come with it, you'll see that the branding is Say No Unite. The branding is not clearly Unifem. Um, this was very deliberately made so, so that organizations can actually use this as their own platform. Because every time I talk about these action pages where organizations can actually talk about their initiatives and make that visible and make these stories go out globally. Now, these action pages are have spaces for your own logos. So your page really looks like 
your organization you can have your organization logos your photos videos materials up there um, documents you have a if you have a, a neat toolkit on ending violence against women that you would like to share you can do that through this um, and I we try to use the uniform advantage um, to push out and to make visible the work of our partners um, again, I mean, I, I keep going back to it and uh, at the risk of sounding repetitive, but this is the key idea behind Say No. You are doing incredible work on ending violence against women. We have all worked and we still are working on the issue. Say No is a communications platform that shows that entire gamut of work globally. What does the global picture on ending violence against women look like? That's the question Seno deals with. Um, so whatever branding, whatever, I mean, advantage that UNIFEM has, we would happily use that to showcase your work on this uh, platform. What is your favorite action so far by a partner? Do you think this is the most inspiring campaign so far? Could you share some examples from Asia? Um, I can talk about, um, it's so hard to pick a, pick a favorite action so far. I, I talk a lot about men for gender equality now from Kenya, um, that, that's an initiative that sparked so much interest. Um, the idea of busloads of men going out to distant villages, talking to communities on ending violence against women, talking about gender-based violence one-on-one um, -on -one with other men as well as women, um, reaching out to communities through um, things like street performances, I think that's incredibly powerful and innovative. Um, similar things have happened in Pakistan that I know of. Um, um, I'm trying to think. Um, there was also um, the the Kenya uh, the Kenya example of the Scar Club that I talked about. I think that that is absolutely fantastic. Um, I have not seen. Um, I mean, it's one of the best peer-to-peer -peer empowerment, education, rights education initiative that I have seen. Um, um, how many of you had heard about the Kenya, uh, the Kenyatta, um, I'm sorry, the Nagara Girls High School in Kenya and the Students um, Club Against Rape? But that's what it stands for, Students Club Against Rape. And these are young girls sitting together and talking about what is right and what is wrong um, how to prevent sexual abuse, what is their rights in the context of if they are being violated. Um, this is incredibly empowering and um, every person that they reach um, through such initiatives is, is, is really a dent in the wall of silence that often surrounds this issue. Another initiative, um, um, you to ask me to talk about Asia, 